Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to do a gradient stamping with Bundle Monsters Electro Glow Collection. I'm using this Unt Peel Off Base Coat, and I've started off with Bitsy's nail color, and this one is their white cream, and it's called Flawless. This was a suggestion from Deborah from Sister Chick, and I'll be using the Go Trendy BM XL354. The Bundle Monster Scraper and my new Bundle Monster Stamper. I've done my thumb, you know, it's kind of an awkward one to film, and I'm just doing like little lines or dots up at the top of each image or on top of the image I'm using, and I'm just kind of going to blend those together with the scraping card. And I'm just going to go ahead and fess up now. On this next one, I stamped the colors in the reverse order from what I was wanting them to be, but you know, it's a little busy, and I don't think anybody's going to notice, except for you guys, because I told you. <laughs> it's all good, though. Nobody really knew what I was doing anyway, and people in my real life aren't going to notice that. And I'm cleaning my plate off with pure acetone in between each, each round so that I don't get colors all mixed up. But these colors stamp really nicely. I was really impressed with them. I knew that I would be after doing the stamp testing. They blend really nice together and they're very opaque. I'm trying to figure out which way to position this. Okay, there we go. I think I got it. Oh, I'm loving it. I love these polishes and this plate and that stamper and all of it. I even like the scraper. <laughs> it's the little things in life, I swear, that bring me so much happiness. And I do really think I'm going to get a lot of mileage out of these stamping polishes. Got something on my stamper. I don't know what that was. And I have to say that this um, suggested white base that Miss um, Debbie mentioned to me was really rather nice. It was a two-coater for me, um, but I didn't have a lot of issues with it. I didn't make a big mess with it, so I had very little cleanup to do. So um, for the price and the availability here in the States at Sally's Beauty Supply, it's a, it's a good deal. Okay, now I missed part of it at the top of my nail, so I've gone in and re-pulled re up the image. And I'm going to try to line this up and just make it not so noticeable that that huge gap is at the top. I don't do a perfect job of it, but like I said, it's a busy pattern. I don't think anybody would notice. And I did have to use my clear monocle stamper for that. That's one reason why I like the clear stampers. You pretty much can see everything you're getting. And uh, here we go. We're going to scrape this one off. And this is the last one. This is for my pinky nail. The wee wee little pinky nail. But I do like this stamper. For not being a clear stamper, you know, it has to bring its game. <laughs> and it did. And I'm using some tape just to clean up the excess polish around my fingernail. Trying to be careful not to pull it up off of my fingernail because I would really hate to have to redo this. And now I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and some acetone and do just a little bitty bit of tidying up before I do my top coat. But in the end, I really do like the way this one turned out. Like I said, these are excellent stamping polishes, and now that I've started playing with them, I have a feeling I'll be playing with them a whole lot more. Really, really did enjoy them, and they didn't stink, so I like that. There we go. All cleaned up. I'm going to top this one off with my sesh feet today. Seal that stamping in so that we can wear it for a minute. Actually, longer than a minute, but you know what I'm saying. I'm going to seal this one in. And I just really did like this one. I think it made it so much nicer because I liked the white base polish underneath. I didn't get aggravated with it before I got to 
the stamping, so that made it a very nice, easy manicure for me. And I am still looking for those whites. I've got a list of other ones I want to try also, so keep your ears posted. I'll, I'll keep you informed. And here we go, the last one. Ta-da, we are done. So leave me a comment down below and let me know what you think about this one. I'll always love to hear your comments. And that is all I have for today. Thanks for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.